Winning the Delano Paul Award for the Independence Trophy Invitational is Danny Sovin, the two-time Kyala winner. And Dan Lecklider alongside. The way this race works is that uh, this is a non-championship event uh, featuring all 27 Independence Trophy contenders. The top three finishers will start the TM Master Cup Series race later today from the back of the grid. Uh, with that being said, the Master Cup race will count as a... Uh, as a points race for the uh, for Independence Trophy points, however, um, the, only the best four results uh, will count, which means uh, it'll basically knock out their worst result. And uh, seeing how some of these guys are placed um, in the Independence Trophy, I think they could certainly use it. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of people hoping Lecklader doesn't transfer in that 47 car because I think he'll pretty much lock it up if he does uh, here today. And I think that this race will have a huge effect on the way the Independence Trophy shapes out. As you go further down the grid, you find a lot of guys that had a lot of problems in qualifying. Uh, Friedrich Jaeger hit the wall on, uh, late in qualifying, as did Robert Nelson in the 06 car. <clears throat> Ryan Matthews and Ike Durbin had some problems, and Button Sandy didn't set a time at all. Dan, off to you. Thank you, Lance. Here we go for the 27 car grid. Here for the Independence Trophy showdown is the field. Enters turn one with two-time car yellow winner Danny Sobin leading the way. Lech Leiter on the inside in car number 47. He's got a run, but I don't think he's going to make it stick as Danny Sobin hangs on in the 81 car. Eichholz trying to come through in that Cyan 31 car. The 81 of Sobin holds the lead. Lech Leiter in the 47 drops back to second, but he's only got to finish in the top three, and that's what his goal is as he gets a bit sideways. The 36 car driven by Jacob Card coming in. On, on the attack as well. A little contact between uh, Card and Lecklider in that 47 car. Um, and Lecklider's now holding off Card. Card trying to get him around here through these S's. Not too many good passing areas on this. Oh, Lecklider's coming into the pit lane. Oh, he, that contact with the 36 car must have cut down a tire or something because Lecklider has come into the pit lane. Craig Yonser in the uh, 89 car, the Scarab Machine. A little contact with Ryan Matthews. yonser has been fast. Oh, Matthews into the end of the pit wall. Um, big contact. So Ryan Matthews in the 61 is, uh, is the first retirement. A little contact with uh, with the uh, 89, it looks like. And Matthews just uh, forgot there was a pit wall there. And it looks like Frank Azure in the 46 car has got some major damage. And it looks like he's going to be dropping out of this one early as well. Here is the Togliatti, Carpinko at the wheel. Um, get a little contact there with VJ Pushando. Round he goes. There's Jaeger in it, Martinez in it, and the zero. Big, a lot of damage to the front end of the zero car. On board with Pushando. Looks like um, the Togliatti just ran it a bit hard. And uh, Pushando just, just he had his nose there. But uh, probably could have backed off just a little bit. As uh, Craig Mummer in the 114 car enters the fray along with Craig Yonser in car number 89. Jacob Card is in this ride. Uh, car number 36. He will not be going to Australia with this team. And uh, there are some reports that uh, uh, their regular driver, Joao Paulo Vidal, may not be going to Australia either. Uh, Vidal has other commitments. Couldn't make it here this week. But um, Card trying to get that car into the top. He's solidly in right now. The uh, TM Lights uh, regular. Not really been, uh, he's been kind of impressive in his couple years in TM Lights, and really this is a strong beginning of the race for Card. Maybe it'll, we'll see him move up into the Master Cup Series next year, despite having not won a TM Lights race. Going back uh, a bit down into the midfield here with Mika Turbo in the 0-2 car. That's Jim Davidson right behind him in the 222 car. Another TM Lights regular in the afterburner car. Going through Collins Tunnel. Turbo trying to close in on his teammate, Carlos Donzello. Tom Moore, car number 52. Um, he was just on the outside of the top three. He's running in fourth, and uh, it's 52 car. Trying to close in on, uh, whoa, a bit wide there. Trying to close in on Eichel. It's the BKR Australia. Oh, oh, Bart Sandy almost wipes out his teammate. Just le leaves his braking way too late. I was about to say BKR Australia is not really having a good weekend at all, and neither one of their cars have been competitive all weekend. That's not really a good sign, given that the two Australian races are coming up. Nick Dawson, the 58 car, hits the pit lane. It looks like Turbo does as well. Uh, the teams were told they have to make at least one stop during this race for tires, uh, if nothing else. Uh, the teams uh, originally thought they could make it the whole way on, on, on fuel, and that appears to be the case. They can make it the whole way on fuel, but the series did tell them you have to stop for tires. So, uh, 
And they also told the TM Master Cup Series uh, teams that they're everyone stopping twice for tires. Uh, which is a little interesting, given the length of this track. Anyways, Brandon LaRoe there, you saw there in the 24 car, trying to make his way forward as he has fastest lap of the race. Here is the 222 of Davidson, now trying to get his way around Cade Taylor in the 56 car. Big difference in experience here between Cade Taylor and Jim Davidson. Davidson is a little bit more experience in, um, than uh, Cade Taylor does, but Cade Taylor holding them off fairly well. But as I said, not too many good passing opportunities around here. And here is I Jacob Eichholz in car number 31, whose um, Independence Trophy bid has already gone very strongly. He uh, really today is the is uh, what he needs in order to get to have another shot at reclaiming the Independence Trophy lead. And he's chasing down Jacob Card, but not at a rate that I think he'd be comfortable with. Kate Taylor has a having a run on the uh, on the uh, eternally luckless Carlos Donzello. Donzello goes wide into one, and Kate Taylor gets sideways. Not able to really capitalize on it. There's a bump coming out of Rocky's Bend. That's the name of the first corner. Here's Ben Huron in the Huntley, who's had a very good weekend. The Huntley seems to be well suited to this track. There's a camera mounted on top of a really large, basically, is a flagpole in the infield. We're going to hopefully make, take advantage of that. As we're looking at Danny Sabat in the 81, who continues to lead this race. Card second, Eichholz third, Moore, and uh, then the Huntley. And then Brandon LaRoe. Matt Taylor in the 15 car, starred in Indianapolis. Um, yeah, the year old Sar Eagle is a bit of a dog here, however. Um, not exactly had a good weekend. He's Matt Taylor, the 04 Master Cup champion, has basically said that the, uh, the Sar Eagle around this track is a piece of junk. Um, as Jacob Eichel has a run on Jacob Carr, trying to get away out of that uh, car. Oh, a little bit loose there. Sliding the rear end, coming out of Rockies. Uh, not too many people very happy about um, Rockies Bend. I know Adrian Devereaux was very critical of this track uh, during final practice yesterday. And uh, here is Jacob Carr now trying to reel in Danny Savin um, as he's trying to make a move on the 81 as Savin swings it a bit wide and um, and Savin going to maintain the lead. Not a whole lot going on uh, uh, anywhere else in the field. And uh, uh, Jacob Carr is really trying to get around Danny Savin but it's uh, but uh, again uh, there's that uh, that, uh, that last corner that's got that uh, quick chicane. There's not exactly helping passing opportunities going into Rockies either. This might be your best passing opportunity. R coming right out of Collins Tunnel. And uh, not exact uh, Jacob Carr. Not close enough to really have anything on Danny Savin right there. Uh, Danny Savin, the 81 car. Holding on, you know, holding on to the lead fairly well. Card closing in on the back of him. And they both hit the pit lane and the 31 stays out. So Jacob Card is in, it looks like he's going to have to do it in the pits. Danny Savin skates it around. Haran is in, it looks like the 24 is in as well. As we are uh, just or just past halfway, Jacob Eichholz in the 31 is uh, holding, on to the, holding on to the lead uh, of everyone that's staying out, obviously, because he was in third and first and second pit. He's got the, third, he's got the 52 of uh, Tom Moore right behind him. Moore keeping pace with Eichholz, but not exactly showing um, the kind of pace I think that could pass him on the track. As Eichholz hits the pits, along with the 52, Looking back at Archer Harris, who's really uh, not exactly had a good, not exactly had too many good runs lately. Uh, it's Dan Lecklider gives him a little bit of a tap, saying, "Hello, I'm here. Please move out of the way." We got three wide going on here. This could end in tears. Uh, Archer Harris uh, holds on to the position, and oh, oh, he hits the end of the pit wall. Oh, hard impact into the into the outside wall there, and he rolls the 79 car. Not quite sure how he pulled that off, but. Um, Archer Harris has got the spot, and oh, he just runs right into the pit wall, and then he, it just ricochets him right across the track, almost wipes out Lecklider. He hits the out, he hits the wall so hard he rolls it over. Got out of the car okay after a very short while, but uh, a bit of scary incident for Archer Harris. Staying out appears to have been the right call as Jacob Eichholz has taken over the lead with Tom Moore in the 52 uh, inheriting second. Jacob Card beat Danny Savin out of the pits, and the Canadian holds on to third. And that is the, uh, he is on the bubble, and Danny Sabin now having to play the role of the pursuer. Uh, not too many retirements in this race, but there have been a fair amount of incidents on track. Anyways, you got the 52 of Tom Moore sitting in second. Danny Sabin in the back, in the background there lurking, trying to make, trying to set up Jacob Carden and go right on by in that, in that 36 car. So, Danny Sabin, uh, have to see what he's able to, if he's able to get it done here. 
And we got the 68 car, Cameron Taylor, side by side with VG. Oh, Pushanda Cross, Cameron Taylor! And there's contact. There's, there's another little look, hopefully, from a camera that makes a bit more sense here. Yeah, Pushanda just squeezed Cameron Taylor over to the wall, and Taylor didn't appreciate that all that much. And uh, given the way Pushanda's been driving, I'd have to say that's kind of what he deserved. Uh, anyways, make a turbo on the 0 2 car. He's about to be lapped by um, uh, Jacob Eichholz in the background. There's Cameron Taylor going into the pits as uh, Tom Moore being held up a little bit by the Toyati of Karpinko. Here comes Jacob Card. He's saying, I'd rather not have Danny Savin breathing down my neck. Jacob Card moves up to second. Here comes Danny Savin in the 81, side by side with Tom Moore. Oh, Savin gets a little bit sideways coming out of Rocky. He's trying to get away out of that concrete patch, but uh, Tom Moore is going to hang on to third. Moore was going to try to get second back, but the block is thrown by Card. So... Card hanging on for dear life as Tom Moore tries to find another way around him. I, oh, Tom Moore! <laughs> I think they really got to be careful with the other uh, Toliati around. Carpinko not exactly paying attention. Uh, and even when he's having, even on a, a good day, that seems to be a problem for him. But uh, regardless, Moore trying to get by Card, not exactly having a whole lot of luck doing that as Jacob Eicholtz continues to uh, disappear into the sunsets, uh, so to speak. As a, there's a little, a little bit of contact, I think, between the 81 and the 83. Danny Savin, I think, gave uh, the 83 the chrome horn. He's going to go right on by. There's only a couple of laps to go. As now the, the Andrew Collins tunnel. And, oh, there's Mika Turbo sideways. And, and there's some contact there. There's, uh, there's pieces of the 52 all over the place. Danny Savin is going to get by Tom Moore. And I think Card's got damage, too. Jacob Card in the 36 also got taken out in that... In, uh... Mika Turbo had apparently, uh, apparently spun, and Card got into it as well. There's a lot of damage to the front of the 36 and the 52, so with just a couple laps to go, the cars running second and third are both out. Here's a, no, here's a replay of that as Jacob Eichholz is coming to lap Mika Turbo. Turbo just let this, almost wiped out the leader. Mika Turbo in the 02 car. He had it broadside in the tunnel, a tunnel which is barely two cars wide anyway. And this is going to elevate Ben Huron in the 43 car into third, into the final transfer spot as both Card and Moore are out. White flag has been displayed, but it's going to be pretty smooth sailing for Jacob Eicholtz and car number 31. After the pit stop, he really didn't have any opposition uh, for the work for the race win, and Eicholtz is going to sail on to take his first Master Cup Series win, even though it's a non-points race. So you're. The three cars transferring into the back of the grid for the round of Colorado. Jacob Eichholz, car 31, Danny Salvin, and Ben Huron in the number 43 Huntley. Great job by Abbey Engineering. They had a pretty solid day going with a very inexperienced driver. Matt Taylor is able to salvage a top five. That's not going to put you, it's not going to be a transfer spot, but um, be that as it may. The last car to finish on the lead lap was Nick Dawson in the uh, 58 car. He had a pit strategy that I can only describe as insane, and uh, Terra International Motorsports, despite uh, all that uh, support they're getting from the from Power Singer Incorporated, weren't really able to make anything of today. In fact, much to my surprise, no Lycoya transferred into the Master Cup race. The highest finishing Lycoya, if I'm not mistaken, was actually uh, Craig Mummert in ninth. So, a uh, bit of a black eye there for the Lycoya bunch. With that being said, tomorrow the TM Master Cup Series Round of Colorado will occur with Jacob Eicholt starting in 29th, Danny Sabin starting in 30th, and Ben Huron rounding out the field of 31 cars for a sprint race.